picked up a uh, airless paint sprayer while we were at one of the big box stores the other day. This uh, will hopefully get allow us to get a lot of work done in a little bit of time. It's supposed to snow next week, and uh, that's not good news. I was like, it's it's at the end. Of, we're at the end of September right now, about to hit October in a few days, and I thought I had at least until mid October. Before, and like, the snow is not going to stick; it'll melt, but it certainly doesn't make it easy to work when everything's wet. So today we need to unwrap and stain those beams. If we got time, we're gonna stain the workbench because we're leaving that outside. We don't have a place to store that. So we're just gonna keep it protected with stain. Um, but the way they cut these, you can see there's like an inch overhanging on these beams. So I have to find some way to get a real straight cut on that. I'm probably gonna use a chainsaw because I don't think my circular saw will do. Yeah, we're gonna get those beams uncovered, cut, stained. I gotta wrap the concrete because Casey doesn't want the concrete getting stained. I don't like seeing a building going up in construction and get soaked and then either dried in after that before it dries out or just soaked and dried out, soaked and dried out because it, it causes so much warping on the boards and like you spend so much money on this stuff and the last thing you want is for it to get wet. So we're gonna go into town and get some more tarps because <laughs> somehow the 10 or 12 that we already have isn't enough and i'm debating on getting like a giant tarp to just put over the whole thing um but we'll see i've got some uh six mil vinyl that we're using as a uh, vapor barrier underneath the, the rv and we'll probably put a vapor barrier underneath this but until we have skirting up it's not really going to make a difference all right i need to get to work because i've only got oh about three or four more hours of sunlight. This is gonna be a late night too. <laughs> as far as I can tell, all the windows are still good except for one. And I don't know if it was messed up before the drive or not, but uh, it has like a, like these are double, double pane windows and there's a seal with typically nitrogen or some inert gas in the middle and one of those has a broken seal so we could either get a new double pane glass i'm pretty sure it's a pretty standard window and just put the new new set of double panes in there or save that window for like a barn or something i don't really care if it you can't see through it all the time because there's a little condensation built up it's mainly just for letting light in at that point so Greenhouse, another good use for that. Yeah, I'm gonna go work on that other stuff. Casey's getting the mail right now. She'll be back in a few minutes and then she can help me with these beams. But I should go get everything uncovered and ready for her to show up. Uh, my neighbor said uh, screw a 2x4 up, make sure it's plumb, and then just go down that 2x4 on the beam. And that should work. So. This is really nice. Something to note here. So we're flush up on that side. Like very close. And I was wondering like why is this beam so long? Because this was the longest one. This one is the factory end if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And they haven't done any cuts on it. You all can see kind of where that is. Show. I just need to cut that, but it's a uh, it's a good thing they cut it where they did because that would have been a problem. This one would have been short. And it's really interesting how they make these. This is called a glue lamb, and it's because they glue and laminate a bunch of boards together. And this is uh, two by six lumber, but they make them in all shapes and sizes. So. We have four of these that are 24 feet long that span our piers. When you have 12 foot spans, you need something this size with the kind of snow load that we have up here. And we may not have a whole lot of snow on the roof because it will be somewhat steep, but uh, that's okay. We still want to over engineer things a little bit in case we get a big storm. 
moisture trapped in that one too. So my main problem here is that we put those floor joists on top of those beams I can't stain that in. But it's not that big a deal because if I start on that end I can just scoot them all down. So we're gonna start with doing a bunch of measurements as usual and make sure that we are where we want to be. Let's push these beams down as much as we need. Cut off those ends and get to staining. Hopefully we can get at least one coat of stain on tonight. I'd really like to get two and then we can start putting those floor joists on tomorrow. Uh, that's about it, I'm gonna get to work. This is the center of the house. And it's like almost perfectly level. Can't, can't beat that for our first try. Looks good enough to me. Right? It's gonna be a whole lot better than the camper right now. <laughs> That's for sure. We just had to re-level that out. I think I picked up the front like probably an inch and a half to two inches. So I checked square on a couple of these beams, uh, like the way that they cut them if they were square. And for the most part, they aren't. So something to keep in mind, make sure they add a half inch or Make sure that you are, you don't need exactly that because they'll, they'll add about an inch or two onto the measurement and cut it, thankfully. I start on the porch beam. Cause I don't really care about the porch. <laughs> making teddy bears in no time. Well, we got all the beams cut and the chainsaw is dead. So that worked out pretty well. This did have a fresh battery when we started, at least mostly charged. And uh, making eight cuts like that, like it's not bad, but you hope a battery like this lasts a little bit longer. But I am also going through probably pretty hardwood, glue, and <coughs> <coughs> What's what else? Uh, staples. <laughs>
So Keith just uh, went into town to go get some more stain. We had enough to do like almost three of the beams. And we were going for dark because the bottom of the cabin would be dark. All the trim was supposed to be dark, but now we have white windows. So we'll see how that goes. And we are completely out of water. Like RV's empty, all of our big tanks are empty. So I need to go over to my neighbors and go pump for a little while. So I'm gonna go get at least a couple loads of water, probably start a load of laundry, and then I need to start cutting these boards down so that by the time Casey's back, I can stain them and hopefully get them nailed up today. So I am really struggling to get a straight cut on these things. Um, I don't have a anything that can really cut these well. And I could put it on the miter saw, but <clears throat> I have to break this whole bundle apart. And I was hoping to cut it all at once, but I'm not sure what the answer is. I got a couple hours before this rain hits, so I'm gonna try and get another coat of stain on all of these, get it protected from the rain, then I don't have to worry about tarping it as much. Still tarp all the other lumber, but I don't wanna have to worry about the beams too. So, um, let's get started. <laughs> not too shabby for our first times painting with the air sprayer so i'm happy plus these will be covered so no one's gonna know anyway not to trip and die in the process is a real task as my hose gets stuck on the boards. Looks like there's a thunderstorm about to blow in, so we're going to get everything cleaned up and hope for the best. How so? We got a load of water in a free pop-up trailer. And why is it free? Because it's full of rat and mice and other things. And thanks for bringing it over here. Exactly. That's probably how we got the pack rats that horse trailer. Probably. <clears throat> but uh, we are going to strip the whole top of this off and reuse the frame as something it may just be a flatbed trailer for a little while so that we can haul materials a little easier they can actually drop things from a forklift right on top of that and we can go get it much easier so that's an option um water trailer raft trailer a few different options i got some plans <laughs> pretty nice we're successful homesteaders <laughs> I don't know if I'd call this successful. We've we've grown one meal. 
This is not a meal. Half a meal. This is not a half a meal. <laughs> Maybe for like a six year old. Maybe. Well, it is a beautiful day here at Big Sky Off Grid. We are going to be building our floor today, so it is very exciting and I'm looking forward to it. So we are going to be putting in floor joists this morning, afternoon I guess now it is, but these are galvanized exterior framing nails and because I'm going into those beams, I'd rather be using these. I know you get a longer magazine for these, but it's like if they would make it just that much longer, but I'm guessing Yeah, that's why they do that. Okay. So when you're 16 inches on center, that still fits and if it's a whole clip of nails, so works for me. I have a new tool belt. Single. Hopefully. Stop me from walking back and forth at this table about 15 times every time I do something. I still have no idea what I'm doing, but at least I look the part. Let's see, hopefully they cut it square, but I don't want to cut it. So, what's funny is, I was watching Larry Hahn videos last night, and by no means is this video a how-to on how to do any of this stuff. This is the first time we've ever done anything, so we can <laughs> learn together, but I am no, by no means an expert. If you want to talk to an expert, go watch a Larry Hahn video, because he was making those when I was born, essentially, and he just... He's a veteran framer, it's the best way to best way to describe him. He knows all about the different kinds of framing and did a very good job describing all of this stuff at the time when they were making those videos. It's also the best way to put me to sleep. <laughs> that and the Meat Eater podcast. Steve Rinella does have a good voice to put me to sleep. Oh. Usually when we're on road trips, I'll request that so I can fall asleep. So. I do like his stuff though. What should I do?
top here, you know? Yeah? Could like, be used? You can... Surprise safety inspection! Just like that, the first layer is done. I'll have to let it dry for a little while and then I'll do the second layer. And then it's time for lunch. Adam is currently making burgers and blanched green beans. So, should be pretty good. Usually I'm the one who's making lunch and he's out here working. So we're switching it up a bit. Alright, for all you eco warriors out there, I tried my best because I got quite a few blue specks up, but if you're ever going to buy one of these, cut it inside something so that the wind doesn't carry it everywhere, and then you can vacuum it up, or just don't buy it because it's kind of a pain in the ass. Well, the structure of our floor is just about done. So we're going to cut a bunch of zip sheeting. We need, I think we need one sheet for every set of these. So we're going to have to cut a bunch of sheets tonight. We're going to do most of that in the dark. Um, we need to secure them with spray foam in the bottom. And I may also grab my brad nailer and hit it with that uh, if I can find all the stuff for it. So it would be extra secure, um, but that's for air sealing as well as keeping rodents out. Um, we got pest protection spray foam that they don't like eating insects and mice don't like eating. So we're going to put that in here, fill it up with insulation, throw the slub subfloor on top. Um, so yeah, the only thing we have left to do is rim joist, zip in the bottom, insulation and subfloor. And, and we will start framing walls. But for now, this is where we'll leave you. Thanks for watching. If you have enjoyed this content, please leave us a thumbs up. And if you would like to watch the rest of this house build, uh, please uh, subscribe. And hopefully in the next month or so, we will get this accomplished. Maybe by the second snowfall, because I'm pretty sure it's going to snow next week. But it's not going to stick. That's the important part. It'll melt. Bye now.